What's up guys, this is Unreal Battlestar, bringing you a simple but quick tutorial on how to use the Share Factory. I was asked how to do the edits on my videos, so once I pick a clip from the Capture Gallery, hit Options, Edit the Share Factory, it will load up. First thing you got your tool set at the bottom, I'll hit Square, you split clip. Uh, first thing I do is delete this project name. So I basically just scroll on through, find out you know where I died. Or if I've been walking for too long and I edit out basically anything you don't want in the video. So I just keep on scrolling. Boom, there I died. So I come back. I know I'm going to dive around that corner. So I'll look for the last, more or less, action shot. You can hit R2 to play it at normal speed, but you'll get audio and then, you know, the game footage you play normally. You see me clear that corner, around the corner, and this is where I die. So I'll rewind to my last kill. Sniper in mid. Never mind. There's that guy right there. That reload is a perfect time, so I'll hit X, split the clip, and it'll separate the two clips. I come over to when I die, I respawn. And uh, what I like to do is just to go in and figure out, you know, right before I get into combat or right before I clear a corner, so like right there, I'll backtrack just a little bit so right before I get into it, put the clip, come over, delete this clip. And I'll basically just keep going through and doing that for every one of, you know, every time that I die or if I've been walking around for too long, so I know I'm going to die right here. Now, this is tricky because you'll see me get into this firefight. You'll see me get a kill. I'll look right, and then the guy will gun me down. So sometimes it's hard to split right before you get gunned down. So that guy right there is a the guy that's going to gun me down. So if I could split right before he cuts into the scene, so there's the clip. I get that kill. Your AV's ready. Confirm the split. Boom, here I'm going to die. I'll respawn in. Fast travel. So right there, I'm going to die again. So that's, you know what I mean? It'll stay in there here. I'll respawn. That'll just stay in the part of, that's going to get split out. So there, I died again. Like I said, just basically anywhere where you've been walking around or, you know, you turn the corner and die or you're not doing nothing active. So right here, I mean, I got, I got into the firefight. And uh, unfortunately, got my kill stolen. But we can go ahead and chop this hole off. So one of the things they like to do once you split your clip, because you don't want it to just be, you know, you were here and now you're over there. So you want to add a transition. So cl uh, clear the uh, split tool. Hit X once this tool is cleared. I'm gonna add transition. Now you got your transitions here. I usually, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I use pretty much the same three or four transitions. Is because if you look in the middle of the transition, you'll see 3.73. That's how many seconds it shaves off the previous clip. So like that one clip where I gun the guy down, look right, and then get gunned down. You know, I want to show the uh, the kills and I want to show whatever rewards I've gotten. So I don't want to shave that off. I'll use the 1.5. Um, and then this is what it would look like. Sniper in mid. Boom, and then transitions out. And I'll do the same thing here. I use the 1.5. I try to keep all the transitions the same. And that's basically it. I mean, once you go through and you basically take out everywhere that you've died um, or any any places where you might have messed up or you've been walking around too long, um, you know, once you're done with that, you're done adding transitions. There's a whole lot of walking here, so there I died again. Um, once you're done with all of that, you're done through adding all of your transitions and everything, you know, everything looks good and you're happy with the project. Um, there's another project name thing here at the back that I like to delete as well. So again, hit square, right now split, split clip, delete, confirm delete. Now you can hit, like you clear that tool, hit plus, and then you change the add layout, add filters, overlay like stickers and stuff, uh, screenshots, add track, add music. Once you place certain things, like if you hit the square, this is a different set of tool sets. Um, you can time bend so you can like fast forward, edit overlays, edit filters, edit music track, clip volume, pan and zoom, clone the clip, all that, all that kind of stuff. I try to keep it simple. I use split clip, take out the parts that have died, the parts that have been walking out, put a transition there, and done. So once your project's completed, you like the way that it looks, you got everything on there, you can hit triangle. That's going to bring up, you know, it's going to give you the option to share it, save it. Um, once you're linked out, you'll go to another screen. It'll show you, you know, you do the description, the title, uh, do your tags, any players you want to tag. Mine's linked to Twitter as well. 
so it'll give me an option to do a tweet about the video being posted um but for the most part it's pretty simple it's not a difficult thing to do mine i keep mine basic there's a lot of people out there that do a lot of crazy stuff with theirs um and the more i explore the share factory the more i find different things on it um the more i'll add to my videos and things like that in the future all right so if you like this video and if you found this video helpful you know obviously thumbs up give me a like uh give me a comment if you know any other tools in the share factory if you want to see any other videos of any other things that i like to do um and just you know subscribe and come back turn the notifications on and come back when i post other videos and we're gonna be stream we're gonna be live streaming the world war ii beta uh once it comes out so stop by and catch some footage of that all right peace out